Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is not yet 6 a.m. Central Standard Time here. That might seem early to some of you, but if you've been awake since 1, it seems kind of late in the day to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I overworked and then some. And that's partly what this video is about. It's just a quick message from the chief cook and bottle washer, and that is me. Um, the first thing I just want to say uh, is thank you so very, very much for your support and kind comments on the last two videos. And that would be the videos on uh, the Sam Bush mandolin disaster and on the intonation. More will be seen on those soon. Um, I wanted to also just say that if this just happens to be the first video you've seen from my channel, you might want to uh, search in the uh, YouTube search bar. You just type in RSW and type in the word chocolate, believe it or not, and you'll find a video series on how I restored a violin by that name of chocolate, and it, I think you would enjoy it very much. For the rest of you who are my faithful and wonderful viewers, I just want to uh, give you a little status update here. Uh, first of all, uh, Melissa is barely here at this point. Uh, she started her new uh, campground and um, canoe rental business on the Big Piney River just a little ways from here. Of course, you know that already if you've been watching the shop talks. And that was the second thing I wanted to say here, is that the shop talk videos are how uh, you can keep up with what's going on here at Rosa String Works, and they're going to become more and more important as the day goes on. And that is, or I should say as time goes on, and that is because I'm gonna have less and less time to produce the actual videos. Um, we have, I couldn't even count the number of instruments in the shop right now that we have that are, people are waiting on, so I've got to stay busy on working on instruments. I have to produce all the videos myself now that Melissa is gone. I also have to pay the bills and do all the normal paperwork that a business has. So I am crazy busy and that's partly why I'm here in the shop this early. So I just wanted to give you that status update and that I would really recommend that you start watching the shop talks because those I don't have to produce. They just take one hour of my time. I do them on Friday mornings at 8 a.m. And the subject of this coming shop talk is going to be dendrochronology. And if you don't know what that is, you might want to look it up because it is important to musical instruments. And I'm going to explain how it is important to musical instruments. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about how wood is sawn and different things like that. So I think you'll enjoy that talk in this coming Friday morning's shop talk. People are also always asking me for statuses on certain things, like for instance, the 12 string guitar, which just happens to be hanging up over there and it is drying. Um, I have made some good progress on it over the last day or two. I've put two or three more coats of uh, varnish on it and it's looking good, but we do cover the status of different projects like that in the shop talks as well. And uh, <clears throat> for instance, uh, part of the problem that we've delayed on the uh, 12 string has been the finish, but additionally, we've also lost track of that particular customer. So I've not given it as much priority as it may have had otherwise. But anyway, it will be finished before long and you will eventually see a final video on the 12 string, I promise, uh, even if I have to do it at 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, Let's see, what else? Uh, Caleb, it, it, for those of you who have, who have not been watching the Shop Talks, is going to be leaving uh, possibly in the next three to months, three months to a year. I mean, we really don't know. He's got to build a shop yet and some other things, but he has given me notice that he definitely will be leaving. So he is here for the foreseeable future and uh, he is helping me a great deal in the shop. So <clears throat> I just wanted to give you that status also. And um, that's really about it. I've got some very unique projects uh, that we're working on or presently, and you'll see videos on them down the road too. 
I have already made contact with a lady that will be moving back into the area in a month or so, and I'm hoping that we can make it work out where she can come to work here and produce the videos. That will help us get back on track of getting more videos out. But for the foreseeable future, that may be kind of slow. Um, and the reason is, and people don't, I don't even think they believe me when I say this. But for instance, and I'm giving you real numbers here, um, I think it took me approximately eight hours to actually fix that uh, Sam Bush mandolin that you've just saw the recent video on. Um, and it took me so far in just part one, it took me over 24 hours of continuous editing and work to get that first video out. And that is no joke. It took me three times longer to do part one of that video than it did to actually do the work. And people think, that's impossible. Well, you've got to go through eight hours of video. You have to edit it, cut out all the junk. You've got to go through it again to make sure you've got the right parts in there. You've got to go through it again to make sure you've got the right text and music and et cetera. And, you know, it, people say, well, just put out the whole video. You can't do that. It's eight hours long. Nobody's going to watch the whole video. So the editing is where all of the time takes on these on this and then and then that's just assuming everything goes perfectly often and as is at and this truly is the case on the Sam Bush mandolin just just telling you some behind the scenes stuff here I'm not complaining I'm just explaining to you why you don't see more content I actually had to render that video more than three times in order to get it to finally work it you know something would crash and uh, the video would stop halfway through, etc. So you have those kinds of behind the scenes problems in addition to all the other time it takes. And then if you do successfully get it uploaded to YouTube, then you have to fill out all the crud that YouTube wants you to fill out, which is several pages of stuff that you got to go through and click buttons and stuff. It doesn't take very long, don't get me wrong, but you still have to do it. So, you know, there's just a lot more behind the scenes than you might think. And when there's only one chief cook and bottle washer here at RSW, it's going to uh, slow down the process a little bit. And uh, that's why, like I said, I've been awake since one o'clock thinking about all this stuff. And I'm hoping that it's even making sense since it's not yet six o'clock. Or maybe it is now. It probably is six o'clock now. <laughs> yeah, it's 6.02 according to my computer clock. I see a number of you are out there, 54 viewers. What the heck are you doing up at this hour? Of course, I know it could be noon where you live. <laughs> uh, 7 a.m. here in uh, Poconos. Okay, let's see. You see RSW and you click. Um, yeah. Uh, no, Caleb City. No jumping sounds good. Good. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, edit, editing a video is an awful, tenuous job, a, a tedious job. It just takes forever. I mean, you just can't imagine how long it took. I worked on that video. Uh, I, matter of fact, I worked on part two of the Sam Bush Mandolin video yesterday. I probably spent from, I'm going to just approximate, about 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon till 7 o'clock p.m. yesterday. So that's what... Six hours, seven, yeah, six hours, I guess. Anyway, um, and I, the, after I'd worked on it about three hours, I was only through the first 15 minutes. <laughs> that was three hours. But I did finally get through about 45 minutes by the time I quit, and uh, I've still got a lot more clips to go through. I, I, didn't, I don't even know how many more clips that I haven't even looked at yet. <laughs> And I'm trying to get the whole thing condensed down to one more part so that we don't have to drag it out to a three-parter. But you will like, if you like part one, and it seems like almost everybody did, you really will like part two. It's going to, it's, in my opinion, far better than part one. Um, hello, everybody. I wasn't really planning on talking to anybody this morning. I just wanted to get this message out. And the reason I'm doing it live to get the message out right, is so I don't have to edit it. <laughs> and so I live with my mistakes this way, you understand. It's a lot easier than, you know, trying to live with your mistakes that are on eight hours of video. <laughs> 
So I think I covered everything I wanted to say. Does anyone have a real quick question and I'll just get off of here. Hey, hello from Beirut, Lebanon. Well, isn't that nice? Good morning or good day, whatever time it is over there. <laughs> 1 p.m. in Poland. Well, hello there. Um, got to get those granddaughters on editing. I wish they would because they're both geniuses. I'm not, and I'm not just saying it because they're my granddaughters. They both get straight A's. And I, as I mentioned, the one granddaughter has scored the highest on all of the aptitude tests that they take in school for four years in a row. So, uh, I mean, they're not dummies by any stretch. And that's probably why they won't work here. <laughs> You'd have to be a dummy to work here as hard as we work. Oh, my goodness. Um, you got to laugh to keep from crying. And that's the truth. Any other Quickie here, noon here in Cambridge, Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire. I know it's Cambridgeshire, not Shire, right? UK. <laughs> good live stream, picture and sound, good, good sync. Well, that's good to hear. Um, okay, I'm going to get off of here. I, this was just simply a, a real quick status. I hope it made sense. I hope I'm not just rambling, and I know I am at this point. So. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you Friday morning, 8 a.m. for the shop.